Hey guys, today I'm going to show you a tear down of this uh, 12 horsepower Briggs and Stratton. I'm going to show you some tips along the way on how to check if your motor parts are bad. I actually got this motor for free. I'm just going to throw it out. And I said, nah, I'll take it. He says, it smokes. I said, hey, I'll fix it. Tear it down and see what's wrong with it. Tear the shot off like this. There, the flywheel off. I'm going to show you a little tip on taking the flywheel off of one of these. And I do have the right puller for it. Go. This is a new, must be a newer Briggs, because the older Briggs, if I can get one here. The older Briggs, they got the, the not one here like this. Let me see. It's off another engine I tore down. Have the thread like that. I kind of don't like this type that much. be 15 16 huh. I'm right off now when you pull one of these flywheels off on one of these with any engine okay take that shroud off for that fan okay I'm gonna use one of these Briggs and Stratton pullers but anytime you pull a flywheel off, you always want to make sure you leave the nut on there. Because when this pulls off, this flywheel can fly right across the shop at you. Actually, you have two different ones for these. Like this kind with the, I guess, like it'll work for these. You always want to make sure you leave your nut on the end of the crankshaft. Sometimes you gotta improvise. See what happens if I do this. Oh, there it goes. How loud that was, that was a lot of I wouldn't have that one or that'd probably freak me in the face. Okay, there you go. Flywheel key right here. Looks pretty uh it's sheared a little bit. Alright. Now that was tearing out. Over here, I'm gonna tear the cylinder head off. Look. Doesn't look too awfully bad. I want to see how bad this thing is. Might get away with uh, just honing the cylinder out. All right, now I'm just going to pop the piston on this. Before I show you this, right here, the crankshaft. Okay, this one's pretty clean. Take some sandpaper right here. I'm going to sand this up. 
actually looks pretty clean. I don't have to do much sand, but sometimes it'll be rusted. And if you try to pull that off, it'll score up your sump bearing. Do that, motor might not be any good. Might need a new sump, so something to look look into. So I'm gonna get this off. There's, I don't know, a fair amount of bolts here. I think there's, let's see. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's ten bolts. Knock this sump off. A little tight, and there's pins. Not too bad. Good. Too, too bad in there. Bearing looks really nice. Well, I got as much hours as I want it, actually. Okay. Line up the timing works. Always a good idea when you're tearing these motors down. Show you the timing work. There you go. See the timing work on the cam? Crank just a wee little dot. Okay, take your oil slinger off here. What you want to look for is uh, see these teeth? Come on, focus. See how they're nice and sharp like? That's what you want. They were like rounded and small, they wouldn't engage your cam gear and it probably wouldn't work too well. So to look at. Pull the cam out, I'll show you some things there. Yeah. It's pretty good. Looks really nice. Let's look on the end there. Yeah. That one looks really nice. There's no uh, wear on that. I'll show you a cam that is war. If you could see that right there, see that groove on it? It's right where the oil slinger goes. That ain't no good. The spec on these cams, the reject size is 498 from, you know, Briggs and Stratton. This is a camshaft that's bad. Not too, too bad. 496. Let me see. there. Hard, hard to do that with his camera, but 496 if you can read that. So this camshaft I showed you is out of a blowed up engine, so it's no good. Let's measure this one. Perfect. Right about five 500, pretty close, 499. It's right in spec. Really, mainly the wear on these camshafts happen on right here on the side where the gear is. That's where most of the pressure is. Now, these lobes on the flathead Briggs, I've never really seen them go on the flathead. Now, the overhead valve, oh yeah, they go bad. But just some things to look at there. Lifters. You can 
see. Look pretty nice. This motor actually don't have many hours on it. I don't know why it scored. Something else I'm going to show you. Weak, weak point on these Model 28s and Model 25 Briggs's is this synchro balance. It'll be loose, rattle. Now when you're building these engines, okay, if you want an upgraded connecting rod, for these, you get one of these. It's uh, try to zoom in there a little bit. This is out of the Model 28 overhead valve Briggs. See how thick that is? I've actually put that in my Bolins, the uh, 11 horsepower. They'll fit. Same rod and everything from the Model 22, 25, and 28. So that's one thing to look at. If you're building one of these engines, you want to get one of these rods out of a Model 28 Briggs overhead valve. So, if you can read that right there. It says overhead valve. So that's one tip to look at when you're rebuilding an engine. Let's get these tabs unlocked and get the rod out and piston. Sometimes they're not as easy as it looks. Alright. Not much drag on that. There's something wrong with them rings. I've never had them turn that freely before. There's the locking tabs, things that I bent up, really smashed on pretty good on this engine. Break it loose. Yeah, let's see if she looks like, uh, a little rough factory roughness. I've been noticing it about some of these new engines. See how rough that is? Man. Probably they don't polish them better. I've been noticing that. I, th I think that's a problem with what they're having with a lot of these engines. They don't uh, smooth the journals up. It won't last as long. Let's pop this piston out and see if I can get her out of here. Oh boy. Good, huh? So it'll come out of here. Let's see if I can do something I want to do. What I have done. Let's pull this crankshaft out of here. I wish I could pull the sink or the balance support. Yeah, I think I've got problems in there, man. Here, pull the sink right down this port. Crank on it a little easier. There you go. Huh. Yes, yeah, newer engine. You can see the Connor weights are built onto the crankshaft. That's <laughs> newer. The old ones you used to be able to tear them off when they go bad and these ones look pretty good. Now, if I can get that piston out of there, it's not looking too good. Uh, yeah. Show you this. Yeah, it's balance weight, if you can see in there. It's got wear on it. Probably hammering a little bit. These will rattle here. Clack, 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 clack. That's your counterbalance when it's running, not a connecting rod. That's a weak point on them engines. Let's see if this will cope it comes out. Let's see. 
Oh yeah. Yeah. Pretty score there. I do have another piston. Like I said, this video is just me tearing this engine down. Showing you some things. Let me look in the cylinder bore. Yeah. It's like changing the oil wasn't number one priority on this one. Let's see. Let's see. See that? It's. Eh. I may be able to clean that up with the. Uh, Clear you out. A little wee bit of scoring. It's not, not horribly bad. It's just a piece of dirt down there. Yeah, not, not horribly bad. Thought I was going to have to board a sight. No, not look like it. Looks like a new piston set of rings. I have a piston for it. Set of rings. Be ready to roll. I said all in all, this motor is pretty decent. Let me see which wire it is. That's crank. It is pretty decent. Let me see. Except I don't like the way them Connor weights are. He's polished up just a tad. Crank, not bad. This bearing looks really nice. Front bearing looks nice. All the bearings in here look nice. Except for that piston. See, it was hitting. I don't know if you can, you can see that up there. It was actually hitting. It was actually rocking. I'm going to bet anything. I think this piston was probably too small from factory. That's my bet. Oh yeah, she was really... But yeah. Seems like they don't put as much time into these new engines as they do the old ones. But okay guys, till next time. Hey, keep on rocking.